Hello and welcome to STEM with Mr N, where I perform different demonstrations and explain the science behind what we're seeing. This week is a fun demonstration on how to make a bottle centrifuge. Let's check it out. Have you ever been in a car or on a ride at a carnival and felt yourself being pushed to the side of the vehicle as it is going quickly round a bend? Well this is because of centripetal force and scientists make use of this force in a machine called a centrifuge. A centrifuge is used to separate substances of different densities. This could be chemicals that have got mixed together or can even be used to separate different substances in a blood sample. So today is a fun demonstration where I show you how to make a bottle centrifuge so we can see this force in action. For this demonstration, you will require an empty 500ml plastic bottle with a cap, some water, some food colouring, a wooden skewer, a straw, a push pin, a pair of scissors, a small piece of cardboard, a small amount of dirt and a hot glue gun. The first thing I'm going to do, using my push pin, is put a hole in one side of the plastic bottle round about the middle, and then put a hole in the opposite side of the plastic bottle in line with the first hole. Then I'm going to use my scissors to make these holes big enough for my plastic straw to fit through. Because I'm using a bendy plastic straw, I'm going to cut off the bend and discard this before pushing the straw through the hole in my bottle. Then I'm going to use my hot glue gun to glue the straw in place and make sure there are no gaps between the straw and the bottle. Once my glue has had a chance to dry and harden, I'm going to put a small amount of water into the bottle and put the cap on and then tip the bottle to each side to make sure no water is coming out around the seal that I've made between the straw and the bottle. And then I'm going to discard the water. The next thing I'm going to do is take the wooden skewer and put it through the opening in the straw so that it goes in one end and comes out the other side of the bottle. And I'm going to push the sharp end of the skewer through the middle of a small piece of cardboard. Then I'm going to hold the bottle up so the cardboard is resting on my fingers and make sure that the bottle will spin when I give it a push. Since my bottle is spinning, I'm now going to pour some water into the bottle and add in some red food colouring which will make this demonstration easier to see. Now that's all set up, it's time to do the first test of my bottle centrifuge. You'll notice that when I'm holding the bottle up by the skewer, the water sits level. Now I'm going to push the bottle to put it into a spin and watch what happens to the water. You'll notice that when the bottle is spinning, the water is getting pushed to each end of the bottle and the faster the bottle spins, the more water gets pushed to the ends. This is the centripetal force that I was talking about. Now we're going to see how the centrifuge can be used to separate substances of different density. For the next part, I'm going to open up my bottle and put in a couple of tablespoons of soil, put the lid back on the bottle and give this all a good mix so that the mud is well mixed in with the water and you'll notice that the water is now very dirty looking. Now that's set up and my water's looking very dirty, it's time to spin my bottle centrifuge for two minutes and see what happens to this water and soil combination. Now that I'm finished spinning the bottle for two minutes, it's time to look at the results. I've got this bottle tilted slightly to one side so we can see the results at one end of the bottle. But you will notice after two minutes that soil is starting to clump at each end of the bottle. This is because when I am spinning the bottle, the water and soil want to move in a straight line, but the sides of the bottle are forcing it to move in a circle and this is the centripetal force that I was talking about. 
Because soil is heavier and denser than water, it is harder to force to spin in a circle. So it gets thrown out to the edges more forcefully than the water does. And that is why the soil starts to clump at each end of the bottle. This is also why scientists use a centrifuge to separate different substances, because the heavier and denser substances will get pushed further to the edge of the container and the lighter ones will be further in towards the middle. Therefore, it separates them out and it's very valuable when trying to separate chemicals and different substances within a blood sample. I've also previously done a video on centripetal force, so I'll put a link in the description for you to check that out. Well, that's all for this week. I hope you enjoyed it. As always, I would like to take this opportunity to answer any science questions you have about any science topics at all. So feel free to email me at stemwithmrn at outlook.com and I'll get back to you with answers to your questions. You can subscribe to the channel by pushing the button here and I've added links here to the other STEM demonstrations I've done so far, here to my STEM career interviews and here to my robot review videos. This has been STEM with Mr N showing you a simple bottle centrifuge.